Let's get things underway. So Agar's going to start. Harper on 101, not out. Edges through the gully. Backward point more there as Henry Hunt fields and uh, the first run of the day. See what he does with this ball. That's a bit fuller and driven. And maybe that's why Henry's not maybe. buying it there because yeah. it's gone for four. <laughs> so we've seen a bit of yesterday's Harper there in that shot. And the 200 up now. Four-day cricket. He has the other wicket. On the pull. That's four. If not six to the short band. He'll wait on the umpire. But I think it's just bounced inside it has. So nicely played by Campbell Calloway. Oh, can't bit that. And he, get, he does get a pass gully down towards the boundary. Hit it into the ground hard and high over the fielder. So another boundary. Two back on the hook for Harper. What's Dogger got? And pull. And he smashed that away. Four to Square League for four. No problem at all. In fact, it's gone all the way. So there you go. Nathan McGann, who's got to go down the race and get that one. Highly regarded innings as Callaway faces up. Gone. Edges caught at second slip. Manetti, pretty safe there. And that lifted off a length, and it was well held. Maneni pretty reliable in there, and Kellaway out again. It's nicely worked away. He's timed that lovely, well, beautifully, actually. That's four. Good start for Perry, off the mark, through mid-wicket. And he's gone, big step down the wicket, swings for the fences, clears the fences, clears about the first 12 rows. Harper. Wide one. But if he gets away. out, if he gets out, like, oh! oh what a, no, not quite. He oh, went back. my god! He went back. That's out. Edged and caught behind by Carey. Easy as you like. So big wicket for South Australia. Perry on his way for four. Two down now this morning. The wicket takers list. Very wow. true, and there he goes. He goes after him this time, O'Neill, and he got all of it too. He got all of that. Swings it over mid-wicket for six. Short, down leg side. Just clipped away past square leg by Harper. Delicate little touch. And that's 150 very well-made runs to Sam Harper. 150 off 99. A fantastic knock. A game-changing knock, really. Yeah, he can play I mean, good shield season too. Down the leg side, and he's on his way. So a magnificent innings comes to an end. A fifth catch for Carey and Sam Harper. He's going to get some congratulations from Alex Carey, I think, by the looks here too. Scott again. And he goes over mid on. He's not even going to run for it. He's hit it well, obviously. All the way, maybe? Well, he has. He's got another six. Gee, we've seen some sixes in this innings. What if you Blake's on the test side not agree with you? Oh, Ooh. short one has a little flick at that. Is he out? Yes. The appeal and he's on his way. So wicket for Doggett. Four for him now. And, uh, well, O'Neill, a very handy 25 for Victoria. Uh, here's Agar again. Oh, short ball down the leg I side. That might be out. Uh, yeah, he's on his way. So a six catch for Carey. Agar gets five. You'll have to continue that story a little bit later, Henry. We're going to wrap up the innings. But two, seven, eight. And the first ball just clipped down there to square leg, no runners. What pace you think he is, O'Neill? Oh, that looks a good shout. Might be, oh no, he's given it. I thought it might have just been sneaking down. But a wicket for O'Neill, a wicket for the Vicks. South Australian early trouble at one for seven. Lunch. Oh, oh no. bowled him. He's played it on and then an indecisive sort of shot from Hunt. And he's had trouble with that type of delivery throughout the season and he's on his way and the Vicks get another it's two for seven here at Adelaide Oval South Australians to on the cut and that's a good shot from the Redbacks captain right where he likes it and he pumps it away through point for four I've seen him get caught there this season once or twice as well well oh, edges and caught third uh, second slip Hanscom he's one of the best catchers going around and he has shown it once again and the Redbacks in deep trouble now as the player O'Neill in again Oh, good ball, edged and taken. Another wicket down for SA, four for 16. And it's Carey on his way. Caught behind for one. In full ball, they're tempting him, and he said, all right, this time I will. And he clouts that away, drives it away beautifully for a boundary to win the over from Sutherland. And he swings at this one, edges it away. It's going to land safe and race away for four. 
in Zimbabwe. Fuller punches it through the gap. And is it going to race out to the rope? It should do. Shortish boundary. It's just going to make it. Diving attempt there, but it's across the rope for Ford. Kellaway just landing on the rope a little bit awkwardly there. As he chases this one, edged through the keeper's hands, taking it he's first gone. slip, he's gone. So what's happening here? He's hanging around. It's almost like the keeper, the captain's maybe called him back. Well, it's, if he's been... Oh, this is going to be close. Oh, oh I reckon he's gone. He's gone. He is run out. Well, they'll get that one, that's for sure. They charged away for the quick single. Probably not there, McSweeney. And he's been run out at the bowler's end. Scott looking for his first runs, clicked it strongly and got it through for the sixth wicket. Siddle in again and that's just stand and deliver stuff from Fraser. We got just stood there. But he's not captain. No, he's not captain. Thing. That's what I mean. He's shot from Scott. That's out through cover, Coops. Good looking shot from the young man. He'll dribble over the cover boundary and he's growing in confidence. Melbourne Uni spinner. That's a long hop. And put away through mid-wicket. And there's not many better hitters of the ball in first-class cricket than this man, Jake Fraser McGurk. And he's put that one away beautifully. Here's O'Neill. Former spinner. More coops in a sec. Nicely worked. Liam Scott, good shot. That should run away down to the boundary for four. So this young man, he's got a bit of talent. We haven't seen it in terms of a batting average of 19. Disposed for a day or two. That's a good shot over mid-off. And that'll be his half-century. So Jake Fraser McGurk, we saw him get 100 off 29 balls in a List A game at the start of the season, but he's come good when it's really counted, and he's got his first 50 in Redbacks colours in four-day Sheffield Shield cricket. It sort of depends. If you get a if you get a good ball, there's sometimes there's not much you can do about it. But no, well, that's true. Well, Shot down the ground. He's hit that on the up, back over the bowler's head. Has it gone all the way? I reckon it has. Well, wait on the umpire. He's hit it sweetly. And another six in this game. Gee. Bowling. He's bowling a bit straighter now. Fraser McGurk goes high and over mid-wicket. Is it another six? Gee, we've seen some sixes in this game. It is. So he moves to 85. No, well, you're, the, you're the man for the music, not I. He's Sutherland. Man, that will be his 50. If he gets through, he has to dive. But Liam Scott's through. Fraser McGurk's through. So second shield 50. I think... Overall, I've been impressed with what he's done. I guess... Oh, he's got him! Right through him, a fuller ball. Scott sort of played over the top of it. I was going to say, that was almost perhaps a fuller jaffer there, but it's gone right through Scott. Stepping away to the left there, swinging. But it's come off from as it has all innings. And he'll get a boundary, Fraser McGurk. The umpire's finger stayed down. So Menenti on strike, yeah. <laughs> pulls that away, uh, way, way over mid-wicket, about eight to ten rows back. I'm not going to die wondering, if it's there to be hit, he'll go for it. He just goes a little push, and he gets it. Down to a whitish mid on, he runs through for the single. Well done, young man, magnificent innings. As he faces up, swings, high one, no. Straight up. Yeah, it has gone me. straight. We were going towards mid. It's going to come down here. So he's not feeling that great now as he's gone, but Sutherland takes the catch. The innings is over for Fraser McGurk. Out for 101, but not quite. And he pulls again. Menenti up, actually, this time through the gap. Short on the pull. Oh, he likes him there, and he's taken full advantage. Pulled through mid wicket to the rope. So another boundary for Ben Menenti, who's really uh, hitting him beautifully. Warm afternoon. Here's O'Neill, who's taught hard all day. And that will be the 50 for Ben Menenti. So another half century for him this season. He's fourth, and he continues to be a very valuable member of this South Australian side. Here's O'Neill. Oh! Drive, and he's caught a short cover. So the end comes. Another much-deserved wicket for Fergus O'Neill. He's got four now, and the catch taken there. At short cover by the young spinner, Doug Warren. Liam Haskett, the young left arm, quick three for 90. Bit of rain up there. <gasps> Bold him. That's it for Siddle. So we saw him get his surround of wicket earlier in the day. He's added to that tally. Full and straight, as predicted. And the Redbacks now nine down in their first innings. And I think he's got enough on that or he's out. I think he'll be out. Caught. Caught. 
So that is the end of the South Australian first innings. Menenti, the last wicket to go. Caught by Perry. First ball to Dean angling down the leg side. Big shout from Agar. Bit of noise behind the stumps. Stumps not really that interested. As he drives this one uppishly into the covers. Gets it through and will be rewarded with it. Agar. Oh, good one. Beautiful caught behind. The umpire nods his head and he's out. So a great bit of bowling here from Agar, who's got the crucial breakthrough, the experienced Harris, a test contender. So last ball of day two. Nicely played by Dean, well fielded by the bowler. So that is it. It is one for 12 at Stumps. The Vicks on a lead of 38. Travis Dean finishes on one.